To everyone I offended, I just want to say I reinvented electric cars. I'm sending people to Mars in rockets. Do you really think I would be a relaxed, normal guy? <laughs> does, this re does this sum him up? He a is genius, so but intense. also awkward? He is so intense, socially awkward. What he also said on the show is he has Asperger's, or yep, what we would yep. call autism spectrum. Mm -hmm. And so he's socially awkward to the <clears throat> point of sometimes he doesn't pick up human emotions, but it keeps him intensely focused on the Raptor engines of his rockets or the batteries of his cars. Yeah, and you also described that part of this behavior goes back to South Africa, his, his uh, young years, mm -hmm. and the difficult relationship with his father. Yes, you know, Elon, being socially awkward and small, was beaten up on the playground all the time. And once he was sent to the hospital because he had been, his head had been smashed. And when he got home, his father made him stand there and his father berated him and said, it's your fault, you're a loser, and took the side of the bully. And so I think throughout his life, Musk has... Yeah. Uh, he wants, to prove, he wants to, me, to prove his father wrong? Yes, he has to live up to the expectations of his father and live down the sins of his father. He doesn't speak to his father anymore. And many of the people I've written about have had these troubled childhoods. You know, Einstein growing up Jewish in Germany, or Leonardo in the small yeah, yeah. village being gay and illegitimate and going to the, from Vinci to Florence. Mm -hmm. Kids who feel outsiders sometimes have to prove themselves. Yeah. You also describe him as one of the ultimate innovators, a visionary. W was he, and is he correct in saying, I reinvented electric cars? Tesla? Totally. You know that in the early 2000s, all the auto companies had given up on electric cars. Ford and General Motors had quit making them. And he started uh, Tesla's with four other yeah. people. And is that vision or tenacity or... I'll tell you what it is. It's an intense focus on the actual manufacturing, which we forgot how to do. Yeah. Other people designed electric cars, but he slept on the factory floor and went station to station, making sure they could manufacture it. So by 2018, they're building a million cars yeah. a year whereas other car companies yeah, aren't yeah. building any. That's also something I remember from this book. At heart, he stays an engineer, and he's happy like a child when he enters one of his factories and he can himself Absolutely. work on a Tesla, on a rocket. Absolutely. And he's so good and so happy with an engineering problem. And then at the other extreme, when there are human emotions involved, you see the demons come out. Yeah. Let's talk about his demons. What can we say about his demons? You know, he has these moods where sometimes he's in engineering mode, as you mm -hmm. said, and he's very happy looking at the tiniest valve or battery cell and what can do to improve it. There are times when he's in a missionary, inspirational mode. We've got to get to Mars. But some of the time, his girlfriend Grimes calls it demon mode. Those sort of demons circling from childhood make him get sort of conspiratorial yeah, and dark yeah. and bitter. And